Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlight. Unknown gunmen kill Catholic priest in Edo. Undo government faults media reports on Akirudo losing capacitation and division in cabinet. Governor Alia accuses PDP of looting Benue State Government House. PPG5 governors visit President Bolatinu. The Catholic Archdiocese of Benin has confirmed the death of Reverend Father Charles Egechi, who was killed by yet to be identified assailants on Wednesday. The condolence letter issued by the Archbishop of Benin Catholic Diocese, Augustine Akubeze, said the priest was the vice principal of St. Michael College in Benin. He was killed on Wednesday along Agbo Road Bypass, where the school is located. Reverend Father Charles Egechi was ordained a priest in 2022. Burial activities of the slain Catholic priest will begin on Friday at the Bishop Kelly Pastura Center along Airport Road, Benin. The police authorities yet to make an official statement on the incident as at the time of filing this report. The Ondo state government has dismissed a media report that the state cabinet is divided over incapacitation of Governor Rotimi Akiridolu. The government described the report as malicious, designed to mislead unsuspecting members of the public. According to a statement issued by the State Commissioner for Information and Orientation, Bamdele Adimola Olateju, Governor Akiridolu is not incapacitated. Benu State Governor Reverend Father Hyacinth Alia has alleged massive looting of the government house in Makodi by the Samuel Otom administration. The governor said he met no single official car or a truck to operate with as they were all carted away. The governor also disclosed that he inherited an empty treasury and a whooping huge debt profile of 187.56 billion naira, accompanied by accumulated months of unpaid salaries and entitlements of civil servants and pensioners in the state. Governor Alia said these were responding to calls by the People's Democratic Party in the state that he should reverse his decision that led to the termination of all last-minute appointments made by his, by his predecessor. He urged the party to seek forgiveness from, from the people of the state and stop playing to the gallery, for it had imposed untold pains and penury. Former River State Governor Yeson Wike has led the group once referred to as the G5 Governors in the build-up to the 2023 presidential election to meet President Bola Tinubu at the presidential villa. Other members of the group are, are Governor of Oyo State Shei Makinde, former Governor of Benue State Samuel Otom, former Governor of Enogon State Ifan Yogwai, and former Abia State Governor Okeze Kweazu. The G5 Governors are members of the opposition People's Democratic Party that disagreed with the decision of their party to pick a northern presidential candidate against the principle of power shift to the south.